Thierry and I am a climate scientist working at the Vrije Universiteit Brussel. In our team at VUB, we use global climate models to study how climate extremes will evolve towards the future and also to better understand the role that the land plays in shaping these climate extremes. Yeah, so in our group at VUB, we use the Community Earth System model, which is a global climate model that represents all these climatic processes that occur in the atmosphere, the oceans, the land and the ice sheets. Now, as a group, we contribute to improving the quality of that climate model by introducing and improving the representation of water management and land management in that climate model. For instance, we incorporate reservoir management or irrigation techniques uh, in that climate model. And by doing so, we, make, we improve the quality of the model, we make it more realistic, and this helps to generate more reliable future projections of climate change. So to run our climate model, we need access to high-performance computing infrastructure. And when we have that access, we can contribute climate simulations to the international climate science community. We can thereby support the development of the IPCC climate reports and also contribute to efforts such as the one shown behind me, where we quantify how many climate extremes a person born in a particular year in a particular country will face integrated across their lifetime. So doing this type of supercomputing simulations allows us to make international contributions to climate science. VSC is critical for performing our work as global climate modelers. With the help of VSC, we can run our global climate model on the supercomputer and we can store the output on a shared data storage facility for further analysis. We are also collaborating with a whole range of other research groups in Flanders to share these resources for climate science analysis. And by doing so, we can improve our understanding of climate change and we can help contributing towards solutions.